So I'm in New York today outside of Nyack, which runs along the Hudson River. And I'm checking out this property here, which was a World War I era firing range for the New York National Guard. At one time, this was a huge camp and it had firing ranges and bunkers and buildings and these old tunnels all throughout the property. And the interesting thing is you access these tunnels through these tree roots. So I brought my gloves and I'm going in. <laughs> Where's the light cage? So I don't know how many tunnels there are, and I don't know how long they are, but oh man, there's a lot of cave crickets. Oh my God! Oh, wow! Oh. <laughs> that is all cave crickets. I know those things are relatively harmless, but that is so <laughs> gross. There's got to be thousands of them. It looks like the tunnel is growing hair. <laughs> oh my God. I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> Come on. All right, I got my hood up. I'm putting my head down and I'm just, there's clusters of these things and they jump, they jump down at you as you walk by. <laughs> so if you're wondering why they have these tunnels, they were meant for keeping the soldiers safe during firing range practice. So they could safely travel up and down the range without getting shot. Um, but now they are just home to huge bugs. Now, before I came here, I was forewarned that this tunnel is filled with cave crickets and big spiders, probably wolf spiders. Um, and they're in here. You can see, I mean, some of these are huge. Look at this. So there's a little bit of everything in here, even some bats. Look at this guy. I'm not gonna bother him. He doesn't bother me, I don't bother him. All right, moving onward. Another interesting fact about these tunnels and this whole area is that it was built around 1910 or 1911 and right away, before they even officially opened it, there was already complaints of stray bullets landing in people's yards that lived nearby. So this place was only open for a couple of years. All right, here's another bat. There are all kinds of animals and insects in here. Crazy. So every once in a while, there's an opening in the wall. So you can see we're not actually underground. You can see outside. I guess it's to let light in, but uh, it may have had, they may have had a different purpose, but there's a lot of them. All right, made it to the end here. I don't even know where this is ending up. There's a ton of spray cans, spray paint cans. And it looks like we're coming into, coming into a room or something. Oh man. Oh yes, yeah, comes into a room.
Not sure where this goes, but I'm going to find out. It looks like another empty room. Weird passages. Ugh. Who knows what this was for? So you can see outside, I just can't get out there. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Another doorway here. And it looks like possibly a way out through a huge hole in the walls. Look at this massive hole. I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to get out this way. So hopefully this is the end of my exposure to cave crickets, spiders, and pets. <laughs> but we'll see what else is out here. I don't even know where I am. This is, the tunnel was huge. That that's the tunnel all the way through the woods. It's incredibly long. And this is where I am now. So it comes up to this massive wall full of graffiti. Go this way, see what's over here. So, this is part of the tunnel that I just came from. That's what it looks like going through the forest. It really seems like it goes on forever. And I really have no idea what all these pieces of metal sticking out of this wall are for. They're really all over, all throughout the camp. All these walls have them. No idea. There's really nothing in a lot of these buildings, but I still gotta check them out. There's another part of the tunnel here with an opening. So I'm gonna to try to climb down here. I don't see, this looks like the best one, so. All right. There's nothing to even grip onto. idea. Thanks. This one has a lot more water in it. So you can see this, these openings, but I can't, obviously can't fit through them. So I think this goes back out towards the, uh, tree roots so I can get out the way I came in but we're gonna see see this whole wall it's beginning to give way huge stress cracks and the whole thing is angling eventually this will all cave in hopefully not today okay yeah that's the opening right up ahead 
Those are the tree roots. All right. I feel like Alice in Wonderland down the rabbit hole. All right. Well, that was interesting. I'm going to get out of here and uh, try to find my way back to the car. Hope you like this. Hope you got creeped out as much as I did with those bugs. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.